We begin with breaking news out of the UK where the London High Court has ruled the government's plan to send asylum seekers to Rwanda is legal. The planned deportation policy was suspended in June after a last minute challenge. For more on this, let's bring in Harry Fawcett, who joins us live from the Royal Courts of Justice in London. Hello there, Harry. This certainly was a major test of a controversial policy, and the High Court has ruled in the government's favour. What was said in the judgment? That's right, uh, Lord Justice Lewis and Mr Justice Swift were considering a number of cases uh, challenging this very controversial policy and they have ruled that in principle the government's policy of immediately dispatching asylum seekers who've entered the United Kingdom to another country, to Rwanda, for processing and then potentially resettlement in that country if their asylum applications are deemed valid, that that is a lawful thing to do, that it doesn't breach uh, the Human Rights Act and that it doesn't breach refugee uh, policy either. And so that is now the judgment globally on this policy. But in the case of the eight individual asylum seekers who've had their cases brought as part of this entire process in which there have also been challenges from a union and from a number of refugee charities, in those eight individual cases they've been sent back to the Home Office, the Interior Ministry in the UK, because uh, the court has deemed that their cases were not properly considered on their individual merits and the individual circumstances of the people involved. So if this judgment stands, uh, that will mean that in each of these cases, the government will have to prove that, but that it can, uh, potentially as of early next year, start putting people on planes for Rwanda in this policy, which uh, would see more than $140 million spent by the UK in Rwanda and would see people being processed in a detention centre, holding centre there, and then potentially resettled there rather than the UK. That is something that the government has prioritised, saying it would be a deterrent to asylum seekers and, and migrants coming to this country, especially via uh, the small boats that, we, that we've seen coming across the English Channel from France. It's something the Labour mm. Party, the main opposition, has called immoral and has been challenged in the courts today. Harry, what's next? Are there any other legal avenues? There absolutely are. We are expecting uh, whichever, whichever side had lost today would appeal, and I think that remains the case. We're waiting to hear in person from uh, some of the charities involved in these challenges, but that was the, very much the expectation. Uh, also seeing reports that there will be a, uh, a hearing to determine the possibility of, a, of sending this on to the Court of Appeal within the UK uh, in January. Uh, and then even if the road runs out in terms of appeals within the UK, there's also the possibility that it could go to the European Court of Human Rights in Strasbourg as well. And that's where this becomes even more uh, potentially controversial because the European Court of Human Rights has the power to rule government policy uh, unlawful. And so even if there were the kind of legislation that Rishi Sunak, the Prime Minister, was talking about last week, new legislation to make it clear that no asylum seeker coming through uh, what is determined not to be a legal and safe route into the UK will be allowed to settle here, that could be overturned by the European Court of Human Rights as things stand. So will, and the Prime Minister has said all options are on the table, although he's been a bit more reluctant than some of his MPs to do this, will that mean that the UK might consider pulling out of the convention out of the court altogether, which would have all sorts of other ramifications potentially in Northern Ireland in terms of the Good Friday Agreement as well. So a lot still to go on this very controversial issue, but a major decision made here in favour of the government at the High Court today. Indeed, many moving parts to the story. Thanks for breaking it all down for us. Harry Fawcett in London.